All right, guys, so we're back with a brand new video, and I'm going to show you guys how to get the rolls this time. So it's literally the same thing, so we're just going to go right into it. Get guild rolls, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. The type is going to be a guild roll type, or you can just call it a roll type, doesn't really matter. The args is going to be the guild ID, because we need that to figure out which guild rolls to get. Okay, and then now we're going to have our... Resolve function takes in the parent args and request. And I'm just going to do the same logic right over here. Just for the first two lines. We're going to destructure the guild ID. And then we're going to check to see if there is no guild ID. Or if there is no user that's logged in. We're going to return null. That's what this line does. And we're going to go up here. And let's go ahead and create our guild role type. Because that's what we create over here. Okay. So GraphQL object type instance, we're creating a new instance of a GraphQL object type because we want to make sure that every single one of our types are an instance of a GraphQL object type. Now we're going to specify the name of this type and I'll just call it a guild role type. Obviously it needs to be the same. And the fields are going to be relatively different. So I actually need to look this one up because I don't know what the fields look like if i'm being honest with you let me go ahead and go to the documentation uh get guild roles so it returns a list of role objects so we can uh, follow this now does this have any other additional objects that we might need to create a separate type for doesn't seem like it okay that's good saves us some time so fields we're going to have the id so we're gonna have the id And the type is going to be a GraphQL string. And we're also going to have the name. So I'm just going to copy this a couple times. And I'll just change it up a little bit. So name is going to be a string. This is going to be color. I'm just going in order, by the way. But this, for color, it's going to be an int, not a string. For hoist, it's going to be a GraphQL boolean for position that's also going to be an integer as well for permissions that's also going to be an integer as well so we'll just copy that uh, permissions new is going to be a string all right there we go and we have two more fields managed and mentionable so those are both booleans i'm just going to copy and paste that twice so managed and then mentionable okay and like i said these are all coming from the discord.com developer documentation okay and that's pretty much it for the role itself that's really all we need really all right and there you go and notice how like i said before in the last video i'm shaping my data based off of what is being returned from the data source in our case our data source is the discord rest api so we want to shape it accordingly. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to get the guild roles. So I can honestly just call this function get guild roles. If we look at it, you can see what it does. It makes an HTTP get request to the Discord API. All right, that's all we really need to know about. So I can just do this, return get guild roles. And I can pass in the guild ID. Okay. And that should do the trick. The function gets imported up there. Remember, you need to make sure you're importing your functions. I know I'm not doing it because it auto does it for me. So make sure you guys are either making it so that it's auto imported or that you're manually importing it. All right, so let's go back to our GraphQL app. And let's click on require. We have get guild roles. So get guild roles. Let's pass in the guild ID. Okay, and we want the ID, the name, color, hoist. And it's saying null for everything, and I'm not sure why uh, the return type for get guild rules should not be a guild role type, it should be a new GraphQL list of guild role types. Sorry about that. 
All right, so I think this auto updates perfect. There we go. So we have all of our rules that are in our server. If I go over here, you can see we have all of our roles that are returned. Okay, pretty, pretty cool. And if I try to use a server that the bot is not in, it will return null. We'll actually throw an error. Okay, that's because it's not actually uh, returning the guilds or it's throwing an error because the bot is not authorized. Okay, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. And I knew, let me actually, and let me actually go ahead and just fix this because we don't necessarily need that part now. Okay, there we go, that's fine. Wait, whoops, let me get the other server. All right, there we go. So that's pretty much it for this whole video. Hopefully it made sense, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.